Well, the fight against Alzheimer's disease may have yet another weapon to slow the progression. Eli and Lily shared results of its Alzheimer's drug and submitted findings to the FDA for approval. Yes, yeah, senior health correspondent Monica Robbins tells us more. After a two-decade drought, another drug is showing promise, decelerating Alzheimer's symptoms. I think the good news for us as a field is they all have very consistent results, um, showing that they all slow progression of the disease to a, a useful or significant degree. Denanumab, made by Eli Lilly, appears to be slightly more effective than the recently approved Lakembi and works faster. It cleared out the amyloid plaques in the brain within six months. There's clearly a difference in help stabilizing the disease, slowing progression over time, which is uh, a huge deal. Both drugs are monoclonal antibodies that target beta amyloid plaque in the brain, only meant for those with mild cognitive decline in early stage Alzheimer's, both with side effects of brain swelling and bleeding. The FDA put a black box warning on Lakembi. Lilly filed for FDA approval and expects an answer by year's end. If approved, it will likely also come with a high price tag. But these aren't the only Alzheimer's drugs in the pipeline. There are other approaches looking at other proteins in the disease and other ways we can modify the disease. And hopefully in the future, we'll have a, a combination cocktail of medications that may actually uh, truly change the, the disease itself. In Lilly's trial, about 37% of patients who got denanumab developed either brain swelling or brain bleeding. Three patients died as a result. Now, you may recall the first drug approved last year was Aduhelm. It fell out of favor after a congressional investigation found serious flaws in the approval process with that one. Now, it's also important to remember these drugs are not cures, and they are not for everyone. So what is incredibly critical is getting diagnosed as early as possible in order to even be considered for this type of treatment. Good Christine. to know. Good to know. Monica Robbins, we appreciate it. In the newsroom for us there, thank you.